So for today, pag-aralan natin kung paano ba natin i-mix up yung ISO shutter speed and aperture. Hey guys, what's up? This is Jepperonimo. Thank you for watching this video. So tapos na nga natin yung tatlong series natin about ISO shutter speed and aperture. Now we know kung ano ba yung nature ng tatlong yon. Alamin naman natin kung paano natin sila i-mix up para makakuha ng preferred photos natin. Disclaimer lang, these videos are for beginners. Kasi kung alam naman na natin or familiar na tayo dun sa tatlo, kaya na natin mag-experiment depende dun sa gusto nating ma-achieve na art or style. Another one is these guides are just my workflow back then or even up until now na nagagawa ko siya subconsciously. Ganito lang tumatakbo yung utak ko kung paano ko set up yung aperture, shutter speed, and ISO in a certain environment like portrait, landscape, or streets. I hope na makatulong tong guide na to sa inyo ng mga nag-umpisa pa lang para makakuha ng mga desired photos nyo. Unahin na natin yung portrait. Since we are shooting a portrait, kailangan natin malaman kung gaano ba natin gustong ka-sharp yung subject natin sa kakalabasan ng photo natin. So, ang una natin set ay aperture. Why? Because our aperture determines kung gaano ba ka-blur or sharp yung subject natin. So, in terms of portrait, I usually use f1.2 to f2.8. Once na nasa labas ako or I'm just using an ambient light or yung ilaw sa sun natin. Pero kapag nasa studio tayo, madalas na aperture na ginagamit ko is f8 to f11. Why? Kasi we have plenty of light inside the studio like yung mga strobe lights na ginagamit natin. So we want it to be as uh, narrow as possible para ma-select lang natin yung papasok na ilaw. And also, minsan yung f8 or f11, depende sa lens na ginagamit natin, yun yung sweet spot nila. Meaning, yun yung aperture na pwede magbigay ng sharpest image sa atin. So, take note, if I'm shooting in a studio with a lot of lights available, I'm shooting at f8 to f11. But most of the time, I'm shooting f1.2 to f2.8, especially kapag nasa labas or ambient light yung ginagamit natin. Example, weddings and events. Next na sineset ko sa portrait is yung shutter speed. Kasi kailangan ko ma-determine kung kailangan ko ba ng talagang freezed yung subject ko or okay lang na may medyo motion blur. But since portrait yung pinag-uusapan natin, syempre kailangan ma-freeze natin yung mukha or yung half body ng subject natin. So kailangan natin ng mga medyo mataas na shutter speed. Like, nagsisimula ako sa 1 over 1 25th of a second pataas. Since alam na natin kung ano yung aperture and shutter speed natin for this certain shot, malalaman na natin kung okay ba yung exposure ng ating image. If our exposure is a little bit underexposed, dito na papasok yung ISO. Doon ko na last na ina-adjust yung ISO. Since ISO is a little bit sensitive sa kalalabasan ng image natin in terms of uh, noise, so pinak pinakahuli ko siya. If okay na lahat at ISO 100, then that's it. ISO 100. Pero if my image is still a little bit underexposed, tinataasan ko ng kaonte yung ISO ko hanggang maging zero or above zero ng kaonte sa exposure meter natin. Speaking of exposure meter, we already have a video about this topic so you might want to check that out. So I'll put the link above para mapanood nyo siya after this video. So going back, so kapag ka naging okay na yung exposure meter ko, sa, makikita ko siya sa viewfinder or if I'm using the LCD screen of my camera sa may baba, at makita ko na nasa zero or plus one third, mga ganon, or two thirds, okay na ako since I'm shooting raw. So sa editing ko na or sa post-processing ko na ilalagay lahat if I want it to be light and bright or dark and moody. Why? At least yung canvas na meron ako, okay yung highlights niya, okay yung shadows niya. Hindi ako magsisisi sa editing, hala, blown out pala yung highlights ko. Hala, sobrang na-darken pala yung shadows ko. So, so, I'm always looking at my exposure meter at around zero or one-thirds or plus two-thirds. So, that's how I set my portrait photos. So, una, recap lang, aperture. I determine kung gano'n ba ka sharp yung subject and yung background. Then, second is shutter speed, kung gano'n ko ba ka-freeze gusto yung subject ko. And lastly is ISO to compensate dun sa exposure ng photos na makukuha ko. 
So we're done with portrait photos. Now we're going to the next one which is landscape. Landscape, usually nakukuha nang ko siya kapag ka nagta-travel kami. So it's a little bit uh, different in terms of uh, setting sa portrait. So ano ba yung una kong iniisip or una kong dinedetermine na settings when I shoot landscape? First is syempre aperture pa rin. Aperture kasi Siyempre, we're dealing with landscape eh. So, kailangan kong ma-determine kung gaano ba ka-sharp yung foreground up until background. So, definitely, I'm shooting at f11 to f16. Minsan, umaabot pa ng around f20 kapag uh, ayaw ko na mag-edit. Pero, <laughs> most of the time, gumagamit ako ng technique na tinuro sa akin ni Sir Edwin, which is the focus stacking. So, I'm shooting at f11. Then, I'm taking multiple photos of the foreground, middle ground, and background. Then, I'll merge it in post-production. So, definitely, kapag nag-shoot kayo ng landscape, una yung i-determine na setting is aperture. F11 to F16. Pwede namang F8 lang, but just make sure na sharp yung landscape na kinukuhanan nyo. For my next one, kailangan kong i-determine yung ISO ko. So, when I'm shooting landscape, I want it to be as lowest as possible. So, around ISO 100. Pero kapag ka nightscape or mga night photography yung kinukuhanan ko, madalas na ISO ko is ISO 800 to minsan lumabot pa ng 3200 or 64. Pero kapag ka bright and sunny daylight, katulad ng sinabi ko sa video natin about ISO, most of the time, ang ISO ko is 100. So, recap lang. Alam na natin yung aperture natin when, when we're shooting landscape. Alam na rin natin yung ISO. Last kong din determine is yung shutter speed. Kailangan ko ba ng long exposure shot or okay na na ma-freeze ko? So, when I'm shooting landscape photos, usually ang, ang shutter speed ko is around 1 over 50 or 1 over 125. Pero when I'm shooting long exposure shots, so dito napapasok yung mga above 30 seconds. So, that's how I set my landscape photos. Again, reminder, this may not apply to all, but this is just my workflow. Eventually, kapag ka na-master mo na to, pwede mo nang i-mix uh, up kung ano ba yung gusto mong unahin or anong mga settings yung kailangan mo. Kapag nag-uumpisa ka lang, talagang minsan kailangan lang natin ng guide, minsan kailangan lang talaga natin ng something to start with para maumpisahan natin yung journey natin in photography. So, that's all for our landscape part. Next is our street photos. I consider two categories when shooting street. Street portrait and street landscape. But definitely, ganito tumatakbo yung isip ko when I shoot street photos. Inuuna ko yung shutter speed. Why? Gusto ko ma-determine kung gaano baka freeze yung moment yung gusto ko. And since we're shooting streets, lahat yan uncertain. So, I'm defining or I'm setting my shutter speed first para alam ko kung gaano kabilis yung camera ko when I see a moment or when I see something interesting sa street. At least, kaya ko ma-capture agad. So, shutter speed talaga yung una kong sinaset when it comes to street photos. Next is aperture. So, dito ko na-determine. Sinabi ko nga na when I'm shooting street photos, I'm seeing it as street portrait or street landscape. When I'm shooting street landscape, uh, definitely my aperture is f8 or f9 or f11. But when I'm shooting street portrait, I'll shoot at f1.2 or f2.8 or f4 at least. So last is my ISO. Bakit last ulit yung ISO? Kasi Yung ISO, most of the time, naka-fix lang yan. Since I'm shooting most of the time uh, maaraw, pero kapag ka gumabi na, dun lang magbabago yung ISO ko. So, madalas na nagbabago sa akin is shutter speed and aperture. Kaya siya yung una kong mga sineset. So, una, shutter speed. Then, next is determine kung portrait ba or landscape. Then, uh, set ko na yung aperture ko. Then, lastly is ISO. Kasi dinadetermine ko lang kung bright sunny day ba, or cloudy ba, or gabi na ba. So, malalaman ko kung anong ISO meron ako. 100 to 400 to 800 or even 3,200. So, that's all for today, guys. I hope na nakatulong yung workflow ko when shooting um, portrait, landscape, or street photos. And yun lang naman yung madalas na uh, workflow na... Yun lang naman yung madalas na sineset ko kapag ka nagsushoot ako. And ang kailangan lang talaga is practice. We really need to do uh, practice if hindi ka makalabas ngayon, definitely shoot at inside your house or 
kung meron kayong bakuran, pwede kayong mag-shoot. Yung mga halaman doon ng mga nanay or tatay nyo, pwede nyo i-shoot yan. Or kung saan man, kung ano yung mga interesting subject na pwede nyo makuhanan ngayong nasa loob lang tayo ng bahay or kapag kalumabas na kayo, may chance na kayong gumala. So, magagamit nyo yun. Kailangan lang talaga natin mag-practice para ma-familiarize natin ano ba yung aperture, ano ba yung shutter speed, and ano ba yung ISO. So, definitely, this is just a guide. So, Use it freely if you want, but if you have a definite idea about ISO shutter speed and aperture, feel free to experiment as well. So that's all for today guys. I hope you learned a lot and like this video. Don't forget to click the like and share button. And also, if you want to learn more about photography, videography, editing, and vlogging, consider clicking the subscribe button. We also do have our Buy Me a Coffee site link in our description box below. If you want to support me and this channel in creating more videos in the future, you might want to check our membership uh, link or membership button down here. Just click that and malaking tulong na po iyon. So that's all guys. Once again, this is Jeff Ronimo. Thank you for watching this video. See you on my next one. Bye. Peace.